All right, guys, what's up? Uh, we have, I'm going to say it's an overview, but there's important things I need to tell you before we even start. The first thing is, this is not from a skirmished point of view. Uh, I myself, I'm, I'm not an HP player. I've always been green gas propane, uh, not even green gas, really propane. Uh, and right now, guys, I've been injured and uh, morbidly obese for the past two, three years. So it's been a while since I even played. So if you're looking for advice on what to get as a skirmisher, don't ask me. Um, I'm not the, I'm the furthest person you should ask because I always worry about things. These are just things I think about, you know, you know, how sturdy is this, you know, structure wise, you know, cause this is the hose. This is the very important part that is, you know, when you're running, it's moving. So you have to, you know, figure out, hey, I've used a good job. And honestly, guys, the only thing I can say, just from what I've worked with people, customers, pre-bills, all that kind of stuff, I always ask, hey, what power source are you using? And if they're HPA, almost 100% of everyone is primary airsoft or tap airsoft. Those are the two main companies I hear over and over, and that's the reason why I even wanted these in the first place, is just to have them so I could test out, um, you know, hey, I'm working on this gun. Okay, you got this? Great, I have it. I can test it. That's why I wanted it. But, um, I've heard nothing but good things about both companies. So, you know, in the end, guys, you need to do the research and find someone that you can trust and that is honest about how good these are for skirmishing. I'm only going to speak on the point of technical aspect and, uh, you know, tech use. I'm going to demonstrate them. I'm going to show you the difference between V2 and V3. And the other thing I have to talk about is these, I didn't even pay for, okay, the, the, Okay, I'm going to just tell the whole story because <laughs> it's important. First of all, big th big shout out and thanks to, uh, I'll just say his first initial, I didn't ask his permission, but Kay, you know who you are, I appreciate it. Um, he came over to my place and I, I think we were working on uh, Glock stuff or I don't know what we were doing. I know it was either Glock stuff, working on it, or high cap of stuff. Anyways, I was talking about primary airsoft because I was researching that. So I was like, okay, I'm getting a lot of people that are using this guy. I need to get a set on my myself. And I, at that moment, he had a V3 and a V2, and he ended up just giving me his V2. I was like, wow. He gave me the murder mag. So, and I, I know after research and talking to uh, E and the several other guys, big thank you for the help as well that these were kind of sought out and this was before they got the C and D and like the newer ones are kind of shitty and these were the good ones and then they were telling me PTS EPM mags are good for this setup so you know I was learning a lot and then he just ended up giving me the whole set I was like wow man you know, so big thanks to him I really appreciate it it's very nice and these aren't cheap okay so that's but I feel like these are the kind of things you buy once and that's it you know you move on and he said nothing but great things about it too so um, that's just another example. You guys got to talk and ask around. So I started posting on Instagram and then Primary Airsoft hit me up and he's like, hey, I got a V3. Uh, it's got a couple of blemish, you know, and I, he doesn't want to sell it. And I totally understand that. And I, I don't even care about this stuff. You know, it's cool. But I understand what he's talking about, like if a customer picked it up. And the thing that sucks is, is I hope from my point, from from what my experience, I don't know what he's using, maybe Sculpt to a Shapeway, but when they they mess up, they uh, they will ship a new one and hopefully he gets his money back because I that's one thing people get confused guys is um, I see it all the time with 3D printers and you know guys going out to say oh this this guy gave me a, a shitty copy it's not their fault guys it's the, the you know sculptural shapeway exometry all those guys if you if you have ever dealt with them when they mess up it's an absolute pain in the ass sometimes and also they take a long ass time if you paid for express shipping and they mess it up sometimes i've done that before and they will ship the net the new one economy you know i paid express for the first one and it'll take like two three weeks i'm like what the hell like this comp this comp was from uh, sculpting i don't know if you guys can see it i don't yeah you want uh, there's a line here a line here a line here and a line here and here and those shouldn't be there so I had to contact him and that took me a week to resolve that issue it is just a comp so I, I feel you know I feel for these guys like I, I've dealt with that firsthand but anyways he ended up sending to me other like, oh shit now I have version 2 and version 3 so 
Um, big thanks to both of you guys, what to everybody that's helped. And what we're going to do is just an overview business. Just keep that in mind. And also, I have to always tell you guys, it doesn't matter if I get it for free or not, guys. My channel is always going to be honest. There's no bullshit on my channel, all right? <laughs> I'm proud to say that. And if you check the beginning of my channel from to the end, I am, I'm proud of it. I think I've done a lot, okay? And they also sent these sick. I'm a little jealous of these stickers, right? These sticker, stickers are pretty sick, okay? They, I, first, I thought they were like refrigerator magnets. But they're like this super dope um, sticker that I kind of want the stickers now. And then his uh, patch. Look at this. Like, it's like super 3D. I'm starting to get a lot of uh, patches from everybody. So I need to kind of, I need to make like a, a patch wall or something. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's test it. Okay, first of all, version 3. Let me, we got it on here. I want to show you guys on here on his website. So first of all, his website website is Primary Airsoft US, and they're 85. He's got an adapter for TM or we we have the TM version. So make sure you get the correct one. Yeah, 130 psi version, two versions, and uh, the TM version comes with two. Okay. Uh, the reason why is because there's there's two versions of the TM mags, okay? That's that's what the reason is. There's one with the, a bigger cut here, and then there's one with the lower cut, okay? This is, so if you have questions on which version you should have, this should be the clear, you know, giveaway is this right here. This is uh, built in. I'm pretty sure it's built in. Okay, yeah, it's built in. And then the second one is the angle. Look at the angle. The angle has changed drastically. You guys see that? And then also on the inside, you're gonna notice a little green, I don't know, it kinda reminds me of a tap in place, but I'm probably wrong, but look at that. And then inside of here, okay, that's hard to see, it's dark. You'll see version two in here, and then the BBs are held by a little O-ring, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate this one for you. We're just gonna shoot right here in front of me and uh, we'll probably that be it. Um, like I said, this video isn't supposed to be like, a, um, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I, I, I wanna say an overview just to kind of show it off and show you guys what it does and the point of it. And you know, if you're interested in it, definitely go ask. Um, maybe go on forums, guys, ask skirmishers, you know, go on HPA forum, go on a speed, this is definitely a speed CQB upgrade. It's not going to be, you know, Millsim or any other field. So go look, research, and speed CQB and make sure you, you trust who, who's giving you the information, okay? That kind of stuff. That's very important. So I'm trying to think of anything else. Since this is a TM version, I can put uh, a nine ball on here. I'm probably going to put a nine ball or a garter shell on here to reduce the weight. And it goes on really simple. I, there wasn't any problem this on. Literally, you just switch the O-ring, put it on here. Uh, funny thing is, I didn't even need to put plumber tape on there. But guys, when you uh, okay, that's another thing. I get I, I get from time to time people complaining. Oh, I bought this 3D printed product and I had to do a lot of sanding. It is 3D printing. You guys should definitely 100% expect to do sanding with any 3D product. Okay, I don't give a hell, I don't give a shit who it is. Expect to do sanding with 3D printing. All right, that if you guys ever just if you're ever curious, just go look at how 3D printing is done. All right, this is laser centered. You know, just look it up. It's very interesting. It's cool. You should watch it and then you'll understand why <laughs> you should have to expect to do sanding sometimes. Okay, so. Um, just expect sanding, all right? It's not gonna be perfect all the time. There's gonna be blemishes and stuff. That's something I would always expect, but you know, it's gonna get better with, within time. You, you have to remember, it's it's a technology that's constantly improving, but it's still got a long way to go. It really does. But it's, it's definitely come a long way. There, <coughs> you talked to us, you know, 10, 15 years ago. I, I don't think we would have seen any of this. I was doing this probably, I don't even know. You're gonna have to check my video. And that was, at the time, it was affordable. It's getting better, thankfully. All right. I need to, I, I want to pick up one of those, uh, those I want to support the, the real guy, the, um, the, the speed mag. It's like Odin something. 
And I, I thought there was a company that like kind of copied them and then everyone kind of went after it, the company. That's, I'm gonna have to Google that, but ever since I got it, I've been using this a lot now. So I'm like, oh man, I wanna use the fast one everybody's using. <laughs> yeah so big thanks to everybody that's helped and if you have any questions go ahead and ask me i'll try my best to answer but if i don't feel like i'm the right person to answer it i'll just probably tell you yeah you need to ask a you know someone that actually plays with it because they're gonna have a much different experience from me me i'm just you know i'm abusing this in the garage you know mostly okay i'm not gonna lie it's almost on all four auto guns and it's been doing great uh, only I had a, just one or two guns that were um, just getting hammered on the ramp and that's really I, I think it's the spring so it's not his design at all or anything it's really the spring strength that you have to watch out for alright I just cleaned this up, up. I, I mean I cleaned this area up so I'm a little, I'm a little uh, pissed but <laughs> at the same time it's full auto who, who doesn't like full auto okay and that's what you know I really want it awesome version 3 you don't have to uh, mill it out I milled it out because I was running version 2 but I don't care anyway you know if anything guys it looks kind of cool it looks different all right it's a different looking magwell so I got a unique magwell <laughs> so um, if you got if you have a really fat magwell the fatter than a Gundam kind of Gundam one sits out very far more so than you know other average magwells you might run into issues and you're gonna have to ask yourself hey do I want to sand this part or the magwell I'm not gonna lie sand your magwell I wouldn't want to ruin any structural integrity of this because this is such an important part and look how beefy this is so that you know that just looks good itself all right okay Are you guys ready? I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, baby. All right, that's the primary airsoft mag. Big thanks to everybody who's helped. If you got a question, to ask. If you need more information, let me know.